numerous cases in Alabama are going the wrong way. They are trending up, but the state is now wide open for business. Social distancing is the state's rule, but that effort has often been an exercise in futility at restaurants and bars in the beach towns of Alabama this Memorial Day weekend as people come back to party. At this restaurant and bar in Gulf Shores, Alabama, many wonder why it took this long to open. I'm just here just to have fun and meet everybody and just be cool, you know. Across the street, the beach is jammed. Groups are supposed to be six feet away from each other. Police work to enforce that. The groups are also ordered to only consist of people who live in the same household. There is no active effort to enforce that. I Bailey Carr is 21. Like, she I just graduated from college. I mean, everybody's got to go somehow, you know what I mean? You mean die? Yeah, but in a way, like, I mean, I don't want to die, but I mean, if that's what God has in store for my life, then that's okay. My family has the same mindset as me, and um, uh, we kind of just agreed that uh, if we get it, we get it. Um, we're going to handle it as a family and just get over it, because that's what family does. When it comes to coronavirus, medical experts will tell you they're very concerned about the immediate future here in Alabama. On this beach, though, your eyes and ears will tell you something much different. Just like the flu, right? Well, it's not just like the flu. It's well, I mean, far more contagious. Well, I know, but people die from the flu also. They do die from so, the flu. So, to me, that's that's just the way I look at it. Do you have any concerns about being at the beach with so many people with not your children? At all. Not at all. How come you're not worried at all that someone could be sick and walk by you and get you sick? Because it's there's enough wind and air that it's going to clear it all out of here. Yeah, but the wind and the air don't clear it away. Well, there's no proof of anything like that. There's wind and air everywhere in this world. Right. Yeah. No, I'm not worried about it at all. And then there is the issue of masks. We saw a grand total of zero being worn on the beach. Do you ever wear a mask? No. My wife and kids do. I don't. How come you don't? I just feel comfortable that I'm going to be okay. But the mask isn't to keep you okay, it's to keep your wife and kids okay. To protect them. I get it, I get it. Uh, the survival rate is so high, I think... You're not worried about them getting sick because I am, they're going to live. I, I, we're all going to get sick for something eventually. President not Trump really. is part of this conversation. I mean, if he's not wearing a mask, I'm not going to wear a mask. If he's not worried, I'm not worried. The president? Yes, sir. Speaking of masks, Alabama has mandated them for restaurant and bar workers. Some restaurants have them, but at others where we arrived unannounced and shot cell phone video, employees were not wearing masks. The manager here telling us after our visit, he has now given masks to his employees with instructions to wear them. At this other restaurant bar where we also saw no employees wearing masks, the manager told us they will continue not wearing them because she wants it that way, despite it violating the state order. Traffic very heavy in Alabama's beach towns. All nearby hotels sold out as the holiday weekend began. Alabama is back in business. COVID surge or not. When it's my time to go, it's just my time to go, I guess. Gary Tuckman, CNN, Gulf Shores, Alabama.